Welcome to Real Life Matters, and we have another great episode that's going to happen, happen today, and I'm your host, D-Boss. But you know something, today we have some very nice, interesting people, a cast that's coming on, and the producer. With other, no other further ado, I introduce Ryan Singh, producer of Henry. Welcome. Thank you so much, D-Boss. And we also got some other people here in the, uh, it's got Kat. She can tell you how her name is. And we also have an actress, Andrea Grant. I don't know if she's related to us because my, last, my mother's last name is Grant, so you never know. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so you're working on some stuff here. I see Henry, and it's, supposed, it's, it's been a big, a little bit of a buzz going on. Even with the pandemic, we're still getting the buzz. So can you tell us a bit about the film, Ryan? Yeah, yeah. Um, Henry's new, newest uh, film that uh, is coming out of my company, uh, Ryan Singh Productions and Rose International Arts Theatre. Um, it was directed by Katagina Kachani, uh, our director that you're going to meet. And uh, it features uh, me and my kids, uh, who are writers and actors as well, uh, writers, actors, and producers. Uh, All your kids are writers and too? I collaborated with them in telling their story. Yeah. All right, let's back up. Where do you come from in the Caribbean first? I was Guyanese. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so, but a lot of Guyanese people live in Barbados, so you know what I mean? Well, I only go to St. Barbados once. Only once? Okay. Yeah. All right. And, yeah. and the poor Guyanese people are treated so poorly in, in Barbados from what I've observed. Like a third class country before they realized Guyana got oil. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's okay. That's all right. Because they, they had to refuse some of the um, people from Guyana coming in because they said, this is Barbados. We want to keep it. Uh... Well, now they're trying to go to Guyana. So. <laughs> well, I guess now they're going to go there because of the oil. But anyways, let's get back to the film. <laughs> Yeah, so, so and Andrea was uh, played uh, the matriarch of the family. Uh, it's a story of a, a mother who's lost her husband and coping with the death uh, while having two children to raise. And the relationship between uh, the family and their, their home, home assistant technology, uh, you know, Henry. Yeah. So is this going to be in the in the in the theaters, or you're going to be? Is it coming through on a pay per view or oh, something? Oh, we're excited to be uh, having our world premiere at the Toronto Black Film Festival from February 10th to February 21st. And what was amazing uh, last night? So this is just breaking. Last night, I just discovered that I'm in a second film called Essence in the in the festival where I'm acting. And so it's really exciting to be a part of all of this uh, engagement. You know, you plant the seeds and then all of a sudden, all of the fruits are, are coming to bear at the same time. Well, and that's good. It's coming in the month of um, Black History Month also. So this is, you know, that's... Exactly. Did you time yeah. it like that or no? I actually only discovered the second <laughs> film last night. And uh, right now, I, that, you know, I've got several projects in the works. Uh, we just recently screened another film that I had been working on for seven years and just got completed, Memento. It won a Canadian Screen Award, a, a Canadian uh, Best Canadian uh, Documentary Award at the Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival. Wow. So, you know, it's just a matter of continuing to be creative and, and putting the works out there. Okay, and so what, what's the role, what's Kat, she's the executive producer, or was she, Kat? Oh, go ahead, Kat. Kat, you can tell us what your role is, and everybody can come in. Sure. So I was one of the producers on the film, and I also directed the movie. And okay. Andrea? Yeah, so I am uh, an actress in, in the film, and I am also a producer as well. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, which is a very, 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 very new title for me, and uh, there's a sort of a long story behind that. But uh, well, you could uh, well, <laughs> well, you could tell us a little. We want to know. Real life matters here. Wants and we want to know about that. <laughs> well, you know, Ryan, Ryan and just I just give go you an elevator pitch uh, one. <laughs> yeah, Ryan and I go way back, and he actually helped me 
a lot with my, uh, you know, I'm mainly an actress, so he's helped me a, a lot along the ways with just my, with my acting techniques. And whenever I had an audition, uh, I'd go to him for some tips, and he'd actually sort of uh, help me with my self-taped auditions as well. And I had I had approached him uh, before we started all this about just helping me uh, with a with just a little clip or a scene to add to my demo reel. And he just he just took it to a whole new level. He's like, you know what? You should produce your own film. So here I am. And and where are you from? What's your background? I I was born in Canada, and my my parents are Jamaican. Oh, you're like me. I was born in Canada. My parents, not, not, not Jamaican. My parents are from Barbados, both of them. Oh, okay. So your last name is Grant, you said? <laughs> yeah, my mom's side's Grant, and my, la my name on my dad is Bostic. But um, we have family, so who knows? Okay, we could. It's I, a big, a, it's a big family. Dad, so we got a big... You never know. <laughs> you know, all the names here, you got to check back, because you never know who's your cousin. <laughs> or, That's very true. Or I hope you're not going out with your cousin or somebody. <laughs> Well, we hope to. So, your role in the film is what are you playing in the film? So, I'm the mother of uh, the two children, Ava oh, okay. and Austin. Yeah. So, you know, uh, just trying to, like, like Ryan said, be be that strong figure. Be, you know, just dealing with the the loss of, of you know, their father and, and and my husband, but still trying to remain strong. And just, you know, we have this artificial intelligence that's sort of providing all the answers to to the kids and I guess we can relate to that nowadays where our kids just sort of you know they naturally go towards you know hey Siri or hey you know they google everything and uh, so that's basically you know uh, where I am in, in, in the story of just trying to get my kids away from from relying on that oh, I'm so sorry that's okay. <laughs> this is real life matters. Anything can happen. So, so all of you, so everybody, you know, you must, you know, to coordinate everybody, you know, you're, you're the main, one of the main characters in the film. So, and then Ryan, is some of your kids in there too, or no? Oh, you're on mute, Mark. You're on mute, Ryan. We can't hear you. Well, I said both of my kids, but then I corrected myself and said all of my kids are in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's well, you know I think that's well I guess that's fair you know you have your producer you put all your family in there. Well, okay. Think of real life, let's let's face it. You know, all right. There's a lot of black men out there with many many uh, baby mommies and uh, <laughs> and so you know my father has seven seven uh, different baby mommies. Uh, and children oh. with them. So. <laughs> well, that's okay. Well, we come, I come, my dad comes from a family of 21. So. Oh, no. <laughs> my great grandfather had 33 kids. Your great grandfather had 33 kids? Wow. Well, good. Well, you can't say that they're not producing, right? Look at Andrew and Kat's probably saying. <laughs> <laughs> all blessings. They're all blessings. They're all blessings. Yeah. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter how many baby daddies or baby mamas. All blessings. As long as they don't have the drama with it, that's all. That's only. That's when it gets complicated, right, Ryan? That's right. <laughs> Ryan's not answering. He probably has a little bit of drama I going. Well with all my siblings. I oh. Like okay. Well, we're looking forward to see. So the one that's on the the Henry, the one that's on the photograph there on the the flyer. That's, my son. Is, that's your son. My son and daughter are both twins. Woo! Okay. And so that's my son on the, on the flyer. Uh, he looks like you. Yes, he's a, quite a double, double ganger. So uh, God, God made me, he didn't break the mold, and so <laughs> there he is. Well, he'll make and, some, well, he might, I don't know about the mold, but anyways, it'll be all right. It's okay. It's okay. We're just... <laughs> Yeah, so what I like about this project is that um, we were able to really pull it together. Um, one of the things that Kat had as a director was I wanted to make sure that we use the film platform as a means of getting other people skills that they may have had but wanted to experience new skills. And, uh, and so, so you, made, you, you made them push the level, push their, you know, beyond the yeah. barrier what they, you're used to. Well, we had over a dozen people who was getting a first credit or a first credit in a new department that they don't normally work in. Okay. And one of the things about this project is that we wanted to make sure that 
we didn't just bring people in just uh, okay let's make a film but we want to know what people want to take out uh from it okay you know, so when they when they contribute they feel a sense of ownership because they were bringing something that they wanted to take out of it as well okay. and so that's where cat really worked a lot with some of the people she brought on and you know cat talk about that yeah well, <laughs> where's cat cat's there Sure. So yeah. Are you are you there? Are you with us? Okay. <laughs> I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, great. So as Ryan mentioned, it was important to us to create a really positive work environment on this film and to make sure that, you know, in addition to telling a story that we were all excited about that, you know, it's an opportunity for people to grow and develop and take on challenges that they were ready for but maybe they haven't necessarily had the opportunity so we had uh, you know we had a lot of people in on production and we also had a number of people in post-production we had a fantastic visual effects team so for example we had somebody who designed the visual the original look and feel of the henry who usually works on big budget shows, but he can't show his work because of non-disclosure agreements. So this was exciting for him. And then okay. we had somebody else who picked up where he left off and fleshed it out a little more to what you're gonna see in the movie. Um, and then we had, you know, we had uh, another Toronto artist who, who worked on other sequences. We had somebody in India who had his team. So it was a really exciting project, you know, we we were all ready and this was a chance for us to show that we are ready and uh, a lot of that I, you know i give a lot of credit also to ryan for he is absolutely relentless so as andrea mentioned uh you know he talked her into uh he but he believes in people and this is what i really mm -hmm. respect about him is that you know he believed in andrea you you don't have to limit yourself to acting in in projects that someone else tells you what it should be, you can take responsibility and you can take ownership of what you want it to be. And, you know, Andrea was part of a key part of our creative team. And also Ryan's kids, I do want to touch on that. They're only, they're are they seven years old right now? They're eight years old right now. Eight years old right now. <laughs> when we started the project, they were just six, uh, but, they were very much a part of our team. They're not producers and writers in name only. They were part of the entire creative process. And that was very exciting to me, you know, to have these young people who were, uh, and they had some great ideas. You know, kids, as you know, will, they'll notice things that we as adults might not notice. And if you pay attention, it can really make the project better. So I'm, I'm very much excited about that. So you guys filmed this, the film in Toronto, or you said some people from India were there, or it, it's all filmed here? <laughs> yes, uh, we filmed in Toronto, and I'm laughing because uh, we live in a global space where a lot of the information can travel via technology to different areas. And so we definitely used some of the VFX uh, footage that we needed to have uh, digitized and, and, and worked on, and we sent that to India. Um, we procured okay. a, a team from India and he came aboard and, you know, it wasn't, a, it's not a big budget uh, film, it's independent. Okay. It's a little to no budget, but, you know, we brought him on and um, even though our budget was low, he worked with us in a collaborative way. That's good. And even to now continues to help promote the film. Uh, right now I have one of the promotion on my Facebook in Hindi. I don't even know what it's saying, but... <laughs> Well, you just hope it's saying what it's supposed to say. That's what that's what happens when you don't speak in those languages. You gotta make sure you gotta really trust the people. <laughs> Absolutely, and and that's you know he was passionate enough to say, "Look, I want to collaborate with you guys because I see us growing together." Mm -hmm. And that's what it was uh, for Andrea. She got two new credits. One was a producer which I didn't just let her have a producer in name. I called on her steadily and said, Andrea, what do you think of this? Andrea, what do you think of that? Um, do you think we should be going here? Or do you think we should be going there? And she also was uh, the location person. 
and she didn't know her home was, was going to be transformed the way we did <laughs> and took it over for an entire day. And she had a young baby, baby, maybe a couple months old. Oh, geez. And she was nursing while still uh, working <laughs> with us. <laughs> I tell you, that was, that was interesting, yeah. Andrea. Wow. No, but my, you know... My, it, biggest, <laughs> my biggest worry that day, to be honest with you, was that because I actually, I had the baby in the, in the basement with my nanny. And then I had my, I guess he, he must have been about two years old at the time, upstairs with, with his dad. So I had children at home while we were filming. And my biggest fear was like, oh, my God, please just be quiet, just stay quiet. And they did, they did an, an amazing job. Like, honestly, yeah, they did an amazing job being quiet. So. Well, you know, it's amazing how a lot of things you could do with the technology today. And, you know, a lot of people don't understand, you know, how you can transform your own little, a little spot, like, what, however, and then it's transformed. People would think that you may, maybe you were in a big, big place place but you weren't so it all depends all right so ryan so everybody's got to look out for the film on are you there ryan yes i'm here <laughs> <laughs> we gotta, i'm telling you we, we gotta, we gotta, I, I need a poker for when you have all these people on no, so we're gonna. So we'll be looking forward to that. Are you guys having like a little trailer on there or not yet? Um, we're working on the trailer. Um, still working on the trailer. We should have that completed by tomorrow, I think. Okay. And um, yeah, it's it's all been a really exciting process. Even the trailer, you know, we sent it out to about 30, 40 people. Just to get a sense, uh, Kat, Kat is such a detail-oriented person. Mm -hmm. There was no stone that was left unturned. She made sure she turned it over, read everything that was under that stone, and then turned it back, and then thought about it, and then turned it over again to make sure she didn't miss something. Uh. And so <laughs> even with that process, it was important for us to get that feedback from as many people as possible to get a sense of the seven uh, uh, different... Uh, um, trailers that we cut. Okay, uh, well, we need to get one of the trailers so we can show it here <laughs> on, the, on the show. We're going to watch a little bit of the trailer here so that the uh, 1.4 million homes in the Caribbean can see it, and then we can see when they let them tune in. So if you show that to us, that's going to be wonderful. So if, you, if you're going to send, you're going to send us, you're going to, you, so okay. we can watch it right after this, right after you guys hang up, we're going to show the episode. <laughs> The trailer, not the whole episode, the trailer. If he wants to do a trailer, then we'll have to, if he wants to show the movie, he will have to go into different negotiations. All right. Well, how long is it? Is the movie two hours or how long is it? An hour and a half? Actually, for the amount of work that we did, you'd be surprised to know that it was just a seven minute film. I know. What? Seven minutes? 30, 30, uh, about 30, 30, 35 people worked on it. Whew. And it's a seven minute film. Wow. Yeah, but that's what this whole business is all about. It's about the collaboration. It takes many people in many different departments to make something happen. Like even as, you know, I, I, I just to tune a light, it's like you have the, the, the DOP who is looking at the monitor and you have the lighting technician who is adjusting the lights and, you know, and then the sound and audio Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, that sort of thing. So, oh, and look at the look at the character right here, Henry. How are you? Good. Yes. Are you Are you excited for the film to come out? Yeah. And how and, and how did you How was it when you were acting this role? How did you feel? Uh, I felt good, really good. Oh wow! Well, you look good too. So I can't wait to see the little trailer and then and watch the actual um, the seven minute episode of it. All right. All right. So you know it was nice meeting you. I know you had a, well the other one's not in so at least Lisey's dressed up and he's in the uh, we like to get everybody and capture everybody that's involved in the <laughs> film. So you're gonna so anyways we're after this uh, interview is is done and we're finished we're gonna show you the trailer of it so everybody can see and tune in. And I guess you'll have all the little um, little bells where they can wa watch. And I know it's going to be at the um, the Black History. Um... Um, the Toronto Black Film Festival is right. Toronto Black Film, and it's going to be part of the Narrative Shorts program. Okay. So TorontoBlackFilm.com, mm -hmm. and you know you can watch it wherever you are in the world. 
you should be able to stream it uh, globally online. And the program is only $8 uh, Canadian and to, to purchase and uh, watch it. Okay. All right. Well, anyways, I want to thank all of you guys. I want to thank all of you guys for, you know, tuning in today with Real Life Matters. And there's his daughter, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, thank everybody for tuning in today. And, um, you know, I'll see you, I'll see, uh, you know, I'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for having us. I will. Thanks. Thank you. Take care. All right. Thank you, Kat. Thank, Thank you, Andrea. You. Take care. Thank you. All right. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye. What is your name? Nathaniel. I used to get beat up after school. They would take my book bag, take my lunch money, and all that. Why are you being so nice to me? I'm going to tell you a story. But if we're going to do this, we're going to do it right. Know your name, son. Know yourself, and no one will ever take advantage of you again.